that water is polar. And what, but you know um, that sometimes water doesn't dissolve everything because you know that sometimes when you go, you get stuff on your hands and you go to wash your hands, it doesn't come off, which means it doesn't dissolve in water. So you need something else to get it off with, okay? The, the phrase that you need to remember is like dissolves like. Okay, polar dissolves polar. Okay, and nonpolar dissolves nonpolar. Water is polar, so anything else that's polar, water is going to dissolve. So, um, <clears throat> water will dissolve, oh, think of another liquid, vinegar. Uh, we put water and vinegar together, um, and, and vinegar is polar as well, so vinegar will dissolve in water. However, oil and water do not dissolve in each other. They don't mix, and the reason why is because water is polar and oil is nonpolar. Um, if you've ever painted the outside of your house, uh, you know that a lot of the paints, especially exterior paints, because you want it to be weatherproof, exterior paints are non-polar paints. Um, they're oil-based paints. And so if you get that paint on you, you can't just go wash it off with soap and water. You have to have turpentine or something like that to wash it off. Girls, if you polish your fingernails, you don't want your fingernail polish to be soluble in water, or as soon as you washed your hands with soap, you would wash your fingernail polish off. So instead, you have acetone or fingernail polish remover to get the fingernail polish off your nails because the polish on your nails is just like oil-based paint. That's pretty much what it is. Um, and it's non-polar, so it's not going to wash off in water, which is polar. Okay? So that's like dissolves like, which means that polar dissolves polar. Nonpolar dissolves nonpolar. The last thing I want to talk to you about really quick are electrolytes and non electrolytes. Okay. Electrolytes. You may have heard the word electrolyte. If you drink Gatorade, you've probably seen that word electrolyte a lot. An electrolyte is a solution that conducts electricity. Um, anything that is an ionic compound mixed in water is going to be an electrolyte. It's going to conduct electricity. We're only going to touch on this definition right now in solutions. When we move on to our unit with pH, we will talk about electrolytes a little bit more because it works into that unit as well. So electrolytes conduct electricity. Non-electrolytes do not conduct electricity, okay? Um, so I, we have some conductivity testers we'll play with later uh, in, the, in the course. When you use a conductivity tester, that's just to see if it conducts electricity. If we dipped it into a Gatorade bottle, the light would light up because the Gatorade has pluses and minuses, it has little ions in it, um, and that makes it an electrolyte. That makes it conduct electricity. Pure water, if we had pure water, it would not conduct electricity at all, okay? So pure water, if you went swimming in a pure water swimming pool and it was lightning outside, you wouldn't have to worry about the water conducting electricity. Why do you think we would have to worry about swimming in a chlorinated pool when it's lightning outside? Well, because you got those chlorine ions, the CLs with a minus. And since you have a minus charge, you're going to attract electric charges, and that's why it's dangerous to swim in a swimming pool when it's lightning outside. Okay? So water with stuff in it, of course, is going to conduct electricity. However, pure water should not conduct electricity. So that's electrolytes and non-electrolytes. All right, so I hope you filled in your notes with this. Bring them back to class, and we're going to use your notes in some lab situations and to design some labs. And I hope this was a little bit more fun than just listening to me in class. I'll see you tomorrow.